Inspiration for painting comes in many different forms and I never rely on inspiration to do my work because if I did, I probably wouldn't get much done. Really the process of painting is really putting the brush to the canvas and getting started. But there are certain things that really are inspiring and one of them is this easel right here that I just got from the Jack Richeson Company. All my life I've never had a really good easel. The one I've used for decades and decades was one that I built myself out of two by fours. It was pretty good, but it always sort of wobbled down here. So I finally, at this point in my life, thought it was time to get a really beautiful easel. And this is the Rolls Royce of easels. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about it because I'm just excited about having it. As you can see, it arrived by truck. And I thought to myself, oh no, this is gonna be a nightmare to put together. And it did come with a simple set of instructions for assembly, but to my surprise, most of the easel was already put together. There was very few parts to assemble. So let me show you a few things about this easel that I really like. For smaller paintings, it has one bar here that will hold the top of the paintings. And underneath there's these rubber buttons as well as on the bottom. These really do hold the painting quite steady to my surprise. This lifts off. If, if I'm going to do a larger painting and then these will come into play. Also, if I have a really, really large painting, these go way up to about nine feet or more. So these are adjustable. This also rises here. I can tighten this down. And that uh, will hold this very firmly in place. So it's a very, very sturdy easel. It also comes with some casters down here. And even as substantial as this is, it doesn't have a very big footprint on the floor, which I really like because our studio isn't very large. And on the side, there's a device which I can lower and raise the easel. Very similar to what you would have uh, on a boat to bring a uh, boat up onto a uh, boat trailer. And this is connected with this rope and set of pulleys to bring it up and down. Very substantial. And then you can tighten this down. Well, I love this part right here. This is a tray and it also swivels. So if I, uh, if there's a, if I have some paints on here and the light is glaring, I can turn this to uh, accommodate myself on this. Of course, the easel also goes back or raises forward. And as it goes back, I could, it means this can always be level if you want. And this utility tray is quite large. It's 30 inches. And it will pop out like this. So I suppose if at any time in the future this just gets too messed up with paint or whatever else spills on there, this would probably be very easy to replace with a piece of masonite or something. It just fits right in there. Just great. Comes with these very substantial pots here. Could be for water, turpentine, or brushes, whatever you like. And in addition to being very substantial, it's just a beautiful piece of furniture to look at. This is so nicely crafted where all the fittings are which hold all these pieces together. Uh, they're all hidden by these round dolls here, like a fine piece of furniture. So that's sort of the inspirational part of this because it's such a beautiful piece of furniture. How could I help not trying to do my best when it comes to working on a large painting? Well, I'm anxious to use this easel on our television series, Painting and Travel with Roger and Sarah Bansmer. And I hope you'll watch us on your local PBS television station. Really is nice.